To be able to trade Forex, you will always need a TradingView website. TradingView website helps us to analyze the market. And today I want to take this chance to help you understand the three tools to trade. And in this video, I will focus on TradingView. So before we even go to trading view, let me help you because I know majority of people want to trade. You want to start trading, but you don't know where to start or you have been trading and you are using the wrong tools. So in this video, I just want to help you how to use the trading view. So watch until the end. And by the way, guys, you are almost hitting 100,000 subscribers. So if you're watching this video and you have not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. And like this video, okay? So we have two, three tools of trade. So I'll come here and uh, three tools of trade. And I'll give you uh, three tools of trade. The ones that I use, we have so many, so many things. These are the three tools of trade that are important and I must have for a beginner. So number one tool of trade, of course, you will always need a broker. And if you don't have a broker, I have done a video and you can watch that video and start, uh, you create a live account. So there's no way you can say you are a Forex trader and do not have a broker. Number two, you will need a MetaTrader 4. So MetaTrader 4, in short form, we call it MT4. It is very important whenever you are trading Forex. It's one of the tools. And then the third one, you will need the TradingView website. Trading view, trading view website. So let me go quickly and allow you to know what each of the tools are all about. So for the broker, the reason why we want a broker is because we want a broker because the broker will always give you access to the trading platform. The broker is the one who authorizes you. He's the one who gives you the details. That's why you create an account and the broker will give you um, something called ID. So you'll have an ID number. That is what you will use to log in in the MT4. So the work of the broker is very important, guys. He gives you access to the platform. When you have the MetaTrader for in, 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 when you have the MT4, the MT4 is the platform the platform to place the trade. So MT4 is the platform to do what? To place the trades. So imagine you have, yes, the, the trade. Let's say if you want to buy or sell, where do you buy and sell? Use the MT4 to buy and sell. I hope that is clear. And now the third one is the TradingView website and the video is about TradingView website. We use it for analysis. analysis. So if I want to buy or sell, what criteria am I using to know that buyers are in control or sellers are in control? Anytime I want to sell the market, I have to at least have some clue. So TradingView is that website that you will open and choose your pairs. Come and see, is the market buying or selling? Then once you analyze, analyzing is trying to determine who has more power in the market. Is it buyers with more power? Are sellers controlling the market? So that once you conclude, once you conclude uh, for your analysis, you'll be able now to place the trade in the MT4. So I want people to stop saying that they want to uh, to connect the account with TradingView. MT4 has nothing to do with TradingView. TradingView is just for analysis and you are done. You can even use the, the chart on the MT4. There's a, 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 chart, um, a chart on MT4 where you can analyze. But the reason why I don't encourage that chart on the MT4 is because it is very limited. So if you find yourself that you have been analyzing using, uh, using MT4 chart, I will highly suggest you move from the MT4 chart to the TradingView website because the TradingView has a bigger picture, has so many tools. So don't confuse. Other people may tell you that Oh, I'm not, I'm not able to analyze because I don't have a broker. You can even start analyzing the market without a broker. But once you analyze, if you want to place the trade, you, you will need a MT4 to place the trade without the broker. So that's why I'm saying this is the, the three important tools for every Forex trader. 
broker, better trader for, and the trading view website. So let you website, if you don't know anything about the trading view. I want to set up your trading view and even to help you with the tools and to show you how I analyze. So this video is very, very important. Okay. So what you will do, go to your any browser, it can be Chrome, any browser that you know. And then I want you to type, let's you type, let me first sign out so that um, it can not interfere. So open any trading view web, any web uh, browser, Google or Chrome or any browser that you need. And then you are typing tradingview.com. So this is the page that the, mark, the, the website will open. So what this website is trying to tell you, they are telling you that this is where everyone uh, this is where everyone uh, uses to analyze majority. Let, let me say 90% of Forex traders use tradingview.com. And I sometimes, they sometimes I was thinking I would wish to be given like a brand deal with TradingView because I have been using TradingView since 2020. So if you're watching this video and you work in the TradingView, I don't know. I know it's a company that owes trading view, but I would want to work with them. Like I, I always see this guy uh, on the trading view and I, and I have seen the photo has been removed or something. I would want, it would be my dream come true to work with trading view, like to be their brand ambassador. I love this website so much. I have used it for more than five years and yeah, that's a dream. That's, you see the, the dreams that you're told, you dream and if it's not scaring you, you dream again. This one scares me because if we just review the trading view website uh, altogether, you will see they are saying where the world does markets join 60 million traders and investors taking the future in their own in their own hands. You can imagine partnering with a brand or a company or I don't know how even to call them that are uh, that have 60 million people who are using the same thing that can be a dream come true so they are trying to show you that what they offer they offer chart you can trade where if at all the broker that are on the trading view uh you use them mostly my broker xm is not on the trading view so i cannot able to trade when i'm analyzing but i feel like uh we will talk about that there are certain brokers that are on the trading view and if you use those exactly brokers you can even trade you don't need to go to mt4 you will go to mt4 when you want maybe to use the phone so there's the chart there's the trade the screen analyze learn chart there is so much in this uh website so they are telling us they have 60 plus traders they it is the top website in the world when it comes to everything about trading and that one trust me it is the truth and then they have so much good reviews and yeah, that is basically what it is. And people are allowed to 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 upload what they think to analyze the market. So these are people analyzing different things. It has even a community. You can have your own community. So this is the website, guys. So before even you go anywhere else, you will always need an account. So once you click here, you will just click sign in so that this page can come in. And because you do not have an account, Remember, you don't have an account and we are creating an account with you. You'll just do not have an account down here, sign up. So you'll just um, hit sign up and they will ask you, do you want to sign up with Facebook, Twitter, Yahoo, Apple, or LinkedIn? Choose Google because majority of people have Gmail. So if you just say, I want to sign up, with, you'll just click and and, and you choose the email, the Gmail that you want. You see, I have so many Gmails. And once you're done, you will have an account. So because I already have an account, I will just say sign in. And for you to know that you have signed in on in the TradingView website, what you will notice is that the market, um, the market, ah, not the market, oh, I'm so obsessed with the market. The icon will change to E because E stands for Esther. Uh, so the A here stands for Esther. So if you're called Kevin, there will be letter K. That's the only way to know you have activated your account. Now let's go uh, to having now an account with webs with the TradingView website. So you will come here from 
to the products. You see the products, and then you go super chat product. Don't go to community markets, news, brokers. So if you want to see the brokers that are in there, you can see all these brokers are allowed in the trading. It's like they have partnered. But I want you to come to super chat and click super chat. And that's how you uh, get started. Okay. And you will see we are back to where we were. So I want us to go step by step so that you can know what uh, it's all about. So on my left end here, I'll have so many tools. Uh, I will have the tools below here. Let me just uh, use a plain uh, space. So they will write the tools. So the first thing that you need to understand is the tools that are there in the market. So the trend line tools, if I click, I will have so many tools. All these are tools that you can use on the website. I want to pick for you. So you will notice if I pick and add to favorite trend line, it will appear on my chart. It will appear on my screen. So I really use trend line and I will be using what I use. I'll be showing you what I use. I also use horizontal line. I also use horizontal ray. I use vertical line. And I don't use other things or other tools in this page. So I, I use like four of them. So you will notice this uh, toolbox is, it can be moved around. You can place it at the middle. You can place it at the far end, on top, down. It can be moved, okay? So anything that I will add favorite will be popping on my screen. So I don't need, if I want a trend line, I don't need to keep coming here. The other one is the... Fibonacci tools, these are more of tools for indicators and all that, and I don't use them. And then we have the patterns, the tools for patterns. Again, I don't use these tools for patterns. And then we'll come to forecasting and measuring tools. Here, we want to highlight long position and short position, and I will be showing you how they work. So for, for, for the projection is long and short position. Then we come to geometrical shapes. For geometrical shapes, I would want a brush, and I will show you how we use the brush. I would want an arrow, I would want a rectangle, I would want path, and I would want circle. So that is what I have on, and I have quite a lot. So you can pause the video, and then you do exactly what I am doing. And then once we come from the brushes, the geometrical shapes will come to the text. In the text, I want the text, the T for the text. And then I would want the call out and the price label. And then after that, you will have the icons. Icons are for those people who mostly do uh, training. So you may not need those icons. So let's first discuss the tools that we have indicated here. So number one is the call out. If I want to, let's say I want to, I'm analyzing and I'm hoping, uh, I'm just analyzing and saying, oh, I have spotted an evening star here. I can say this is an evening star. So call out uh, is all about, it's like writing on your chart so that you don't forget. So call out, we use it for that. I love writing my chart so that I don't forget. So call out, you can, even you can say, this is a support. So if you say, if you notice a support level, you can still use call out to, to, must, to just indicate that you have a support zone. So call out is when you don't you, you want to specify something and you don't want to forget. So call out works like that. When it comes to trend line, uh, you can you, you can use the trend line line like saying here I have a resistance, I had a resistance, and there are people who use this um trend line for like analysis. So here I can say I have my resistance like that. I can also use trend line to show the direction of the market. Let's say here I can say. This trend line I'm using the market is going up. So here the market was on an uptrend like this, and then they have broken this uh, this trend line, showing that now we are selling. So you can still use trend line to help you uh, know when the market starts to change. So trend line are so important. That's how when you ever see someone's chart with this line, it is called a trend line. So let's go to the horizontal ray. If I want to use horizontal ray. I can pick this horizontal, not ray, horizontal line. And when I <clears throat> I put horizontal line, it will go across the whole chart. Horizontal line has no end, you see? 
So if I put that horizontal line, I don't want to, you know, for trend line, for trend line, if you're putting here and the market uh, breaks, for trend line, the difference between trend line and horizontal line, trend line, when I put like that and the market breaks, if this market comes up, I will never know why the market is rejecting. Like the trend line, um, it just takes a day and we forget to hit the trend line. But if I come and place, let's say here, I come and place horizontal line like this, uh, it will be there. Even if I have other markets, I will see. I will see even if it's one year, that line will be. It will always be in the chart. I don't know if I'm explaining well, but horizontal line does not disappear. And the difference between horizontal line and the horizontal ray is one is full length. The other one is short length but they do the same purpose. The other one is vertical line. Let's say you just want to analyze that, you can separate your chart. And for vertical line, mostly is for those people who uses strategy like a day strategy. So they will come and say, I want to see how the market will behave after the day has started. So you will see them saying, I can understand this is the market for the day. Yeah, so that vertical line is used for many people who uses the lines for like a strategy and then remember we said let's say you have seen uh you have seen this bullish engulf in the market and you know the market is a buy let's say you have seen the market is a buy what we use the the long position it will calculate where you want to take your profit it will calculate the risk this is the risk that you want and if you're risking one is to one you can say i want to risk one is to one so like that so you can say i want to risk one is to one something like that so if i'm i want 30 pips i will be losing 30 pips this tool is very very important you'll be able to know where to put your stop loss and if that market hit your tp like that so you are risking 30 pips get 30 pips that is for a uh, uh, long position. So long position means buyers are in control. So the green, when the green is above, it means you want to buy. So the difference between the 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 short and the long position, the short position always the green will be below. So let's say here you wanted to enter such a trade. Of course, the green now is below. It will calculate your risk management. So those tools are for calculating the risk management. I know majority of you didn't know but it is for that. And then we have the brush. The brush mostly is used for the trainers when they are training, showing the student, or maybe you're illustrating or you're showing someone. If you are alone, I don't think you will need, um, you will need the, the, the brush. Anytime you will pick the brush, you will notice that it, does not, it keeps writing. So if you want to stop writing at the chat, if you, keep, if you pick the brush, always it will keep writing. So if you want to stop it writing, you just click at the cursor to pick the cursor again. And then now we come to the arrow. The arrow is used, maybe you have analyzed the market. Let's say here, remember we, you take the horizontal ray and then you want to say, let's say the market has broken that support. And then you want to say that this market will break and it is coming to this direction. So horizontal, the, the arrows are used for analysis. These are tools that will help your brain to even tell Ah, it is coming up to there. And then let's see what happened after the market went down. So did it even hit where you had said the market will hit? So the arrows are used for, for showing that this market, you can do that and screenshot and then send it to your friend. And then they will have an idea what you are doing. It's, it's more communication. If you have noted most of the trades that I'm giving setups, I really use the box a lot. So the box, you can have a box like this and you don't know at this time, you don't know if the market uh, will break above or below. So for me, I use the box when the market is ranging. So boxes are good when the market is ranging. Let me show you even a good example. You can see maybe here we have a ranging market like this. So for me, what the reason why I like using the box is because I don't know the direction the market will do. Will it do upper direction? Will it break on the upper side? So the box is used when uh, it's like to say, I both have resistance above and support below. And that's how to use my box for take profit. The same box gives me 
they take profit. And this strategy is called BTB strategy. If you have not bought my course or you want to learn about BTB strategy, you better join that mentorship or buy the course and you will know how to trade BTB strategy. So BTB means, people ask me what BTB means. It means um, it means BWA time frame then box. So there's the box in that name. So, and then now, once you have this box, I it's like what I use a lot. For the path, I use it to show people that even if this box, is, box break, it can still retrace. So the path, it's like just illustrating and preparing my mind, but you can see the market broke and let's see what happened. It hit the, the it completed the box. So the box, my rectangle box, I use it so, so often. For the circle is when I want to emphasize, let's say I am analyzing the market and I have a green candle followed by red and I know this is my resistance. For me, I don't just put a resistance like this. I don't just put it like this. I want to take my circle and highlight where did I get the resistance. I got the resistance here when green candle is followed by red and then again, I have my current support. I don't just leave my support like that. I will have my my red followed by green create a support. So if my analysis will look something like that. And now we have the T. The T I will I will write above. This is my resistance. This is my resistance. And if this is my resistance below, I will still take the text. Below will be my support. Okay. So I have something like that. And then let's say market decides to break. You can see the market decides to break. If the market decides to break like this, I can say this market is coming to the next, let's say I can say this market is coming to the next support. So the next support I have, I have not used the horizontal ray, but I have used the horizontal line, all of it. And I can still indicate, I will put my take profit. I use the price label. The price label helps me. If I just use, if I click the price label and I, and I lay it there, I can be able to just write my take profit. So the price label, I will just key in my take profit there. And let's see what happens. The take profit was almost hit, but that's exactly what we do. I have not even done analysis. I'm just showing you how the tools work. So those are the tools that I have been using in the TradingView website. If you come to the measure, if I want to see by the way, I entered cell here. How much did I make? I will just use my measurement ruler and I go down. Notice if I go down, if I go down, the measurement ruler turns red. So I will be able to, to I'll be able to read the pips. So the pips where it says minus 87.8, .8, just know is 87 pips. Don't mind about the negative on the, the negative 87, just 87 pips. If I want to color changes because market is going up is for sellers are uh, buyers when it is going down is for sellers so anytime you want to measure the pips that you are having or you're making the measurement that's how you measure this measure is very important let's say i want to just measure how much the market has moved against me is 100 pips if i want to measure this candle is how many pips if i get a big candle in the market i will say this candle looks like a marubozu so i will come here and write marubozu and then I say this Marubozu candle, let me see how many pips it has. And I will measure and see it has 102 pips. So for that, if I want to zoom, if I, I'm not seeing something clear and I want to zoom here, I can zoom like that with a box and then I will see the candle. Mostly is when we want to see if the market has really broken. So if I want to go back, I go back. I will show you where the zoom tool comes in. Let's say I have, um. Let's say I have a, a support like this. This is my support and I have the red candle there. So I'm not sure, is my support broken? I'm not sure, did they even break my support? So because I maybe I'm not seeing well and I'm not sure, I imagine if the chart is like that, you're not sure if that support is broken. So you can come and take your zoom and then you draw a box and it will zoom for you and you will see your support has not been broken. And you can say, unless they break that support, if you're using support and resistance strategy, I am not entering. If you're using resistance and say, I will be concentrating with the direction the market will break. Either they break support or they break 
resistance. Let's see where they broke. So in this case, they never broke support. They broke on the upper side. Now, let's go to the magnet. Don't use that. All these other tools, don't use them. If at all, let's say we want to hide all these uh these setups let's say we want to hide everything we have let's say we have the box and then we have the the, the price label we have the trend line like that let's say we have so many tools we don't want to delete them but we want to hide we just come here and hide and everything will disappear and then if you unhide something and everything comes back but if i want to delete i'll just click remove objects then it will tell me, do you want to remove all 41 drawings in one click? I will say yes. And if I remove, I have started again. Okay. So up here, you have the, the symbol search. It, right now, I'm looking at GBPUD. If I want to look at GBP, G, GBPUSD, I'll just come here and type GBPUSD. And I can pick any broker here, any broker. But for me, I use FXM for only analysis, not trading F. FCM, FXCM, and then GBPUSD chart will appear. If I want to analyze AUDUSD, I'll just click there and AUDUSD will appear like that. You see, AUDUSD appears. But there, guys, this is a trade that if you're watching, go and put this box and decide that this box will break. It is going that side. You can buy or sell. This is the BT bull box I was talking about. When we come here, these are time frames. So in this case, it's four hours. If you click here, it's two hours. But if you don't have these time frames, you can still click on your on your um, keypad. So you can say 4H and the market will just go to 4H. You can say 1D. It means one day and the market will go to one day. You can say 1W. It means one week and it will go to one week. You can say uh, 15. It will take, it will think it is 15 minutes. So you don't need to always control from above there. You can still control from um, you can still control uh, by your keypad. So you can you can control time frame from your keypad. Okay. The other thing is the the indicators. I don't use indicators apart from ATR, and I have a video on ATR. So watch that video, and you'll know how we use ATR for the playback uh, for the bar replay. If you have not uh, paid, it is not for the, it's it's for the paid version. If you have not paid, it won't allow you to use it. So uh, let's say you have analyzed the chart. Let's say you have analyzed this chart. Let's go back to four hour and you have analyzed this chart. By the way, GBP USD, uh, GBP Audi has a double top that is OPT guys. And already this market has given us a sale. So we have, you see now how I'm analyzing because I already have everything. So let me do that at the end. Let's finish the video and then I will analyze for you GBP AUD. So if I want to take a screenshot on what I've analyzed, I'll come here and you'll see take a snapshot and then I will download that image. That's how if I click on that image, I don't know if it is sharing the image. So the picture on the image, so that is what I have screenshot. This is what I send everyone on the Telegram group. If I get the image, if I get the analysis, I will take a screenshot and then you have something like that. So let's go back to the sharing. So we have gone back to the sharing of our chat. So once we have the sharing of our chat like that, um, the last thing is the watch list. So you can add as many. Now, if you if you if you are looking at certain pairs, instead of always typing here, you can add your your watch list. You can come here, say add symbol, and just type, let's say Euro USD. And then remember you take FXCM and it will appear here. So anytime you can close watch list details and news, you can just click that and it disappears. And again, that bar for watch list details and news, if you click it, it will appear. So if I want to go to GBP card, I'll just click GBP card. GBP CHF, like that. So I don't need to keep typing. So if you're tired of typing here, just come and create your own 
watch list. Guys, I hope that was helpful. Let's analyze GBP AUD because you have watched at the end of this video. Those people who left the video early, they didn't know that there was something for them. So because you have watched until the end, I am giving you a trait to go and monitor. So in this, uh, now let me show you how to analyze now a real market using the tools I have told you. Now, once we are, when we are analyzing double tops, you will always need a box, the rectangle box. The rectangle box is where we take the first attempt and the second attempt. That's where we are taking the box. You will need the circle because the circle is where we are putting those two circles to go and look if this double top is OPT on daily, okay? So here currently we are at four hour. If I want to go to daily, I can say one D and I enter and I will go to daily. You can see the magic guys. So I can go to daily. I'm trying to zoom in to see where, and you can see I do not have a uh, resistance on the first. So this make it, uh, it makes it a uh, OPT. If I want to go back at four hours, I'll just click four H and I will say enter and I will have a double top that is on four hour that is on not on the daily, it is OPT. So here I will use my horizontal line, guys. Remember I've shown you horizontal line. If you are doing the double tops, double bottoms, the neckline is the horizontal line. I will use the text to write neckline, okay? And then I will use the measure. Remember, I'm showing you everything, how, how everything falls on its place. I will use the measure ruler to measure from the first top to the neckline and the half I will get I will get there, the half, the half, remember, is our first take profit. So if this trade, if you're seeing this trade, you have to go and see, did it hit the take profit? So I can say this is my half. And if I'm trading this trade, I'll just need to take the price label and put it like that. So the price label, if I put like that, I will know if I sell the take profit that I am putting on my MT4. And then I can take the arrow and say it is going to reach there. You can see, guys, so I can either take my, my short position and say I am selling up to there. And because I want risk of one is to one, I don't, I want one is to one, guys. Like that. So you can see I have used all the tools to show you how to analyze. If I want to write on top here, double top, possible double top, I will use the text to say possible double top and that's how guys you analyze the charts that's how you analyze now i want you to always watch this video until you become perfect make sure you follow you share this video to at least five people how would you learn forex by yourself even you can send it to your son who maybe is in a high school and they are on holiday and tell them just watch that video and you'll see if you will understand because people will think that Forex is for grown-ups, people above 25, 30. But even our teenagers, they are supposed to at least be learning these things. Most of the holiday that is coming up. Okay, so I, I am very, uh, I'm very much looking forward to having testimonials that my teenager son, my teenager daughter has now had something to, to, to follow. Yeah, so... Again, guys, if you have loved this follow-up and how I am showing everything here on YouTube, you can, number one, there is, there is an option of joining the Zoom, one-month Zoom class that will be starting on Sunday. So you don't have time, much time. Let me see if I can get that poster because, let me see if I can get the poster. I had sent a student... I had sent a student the poster. This is the poster, guys. So I hope we are sharing the same thing. So this Zoom Forex uh, webinar will be starting on Sunday, the 20th, and it is 1500. You're not late if you're watching this video before 20th, but if you're watching after 20th, there will always be a one month mentorship course so make sure you join you pay and we start the classes the class of excellence in and it will be amazing all the best guys and i hope you have you have now more confidence because that is my agenda to help you
gain confidence when it comes to analysis, okay? Thank you and bye-bye. Love you.